Hello YouTube, this is Patrick Conius here and I'm bringing you a Wi-Fi doubles battle featuring Mega Beedrill and a few tweaks to the fake out squad. So let's just send it. All right, let's check out the team here. Partner Eevee, Pidgeot, Raichu, Charizard, Gyarados, and Venusaur. So we're gonna lead with the Aerodactyl and the changed up Arcanine. Then we're gonna put everything in the back we took in a Polyrath instead of the Dugong. I was just finding that the Dugong wasn't fitting. Either I'd leave it or it just, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think those changes were good or not for this team. So, lead partner Eevee and Venusaur. Works out actually pretty well with this Aerodactyl. So, Aerodactyl, I am going to throw up the Stealth Rocks because there's Charizard, the Gyarados, all in the back. And then I'm immediately just going to send off a Will-O-Wisp into the partner EV slot. Yeah, Stealth Rocks not normally a move used too much in doubles. We did see it quite a bit on Mews. If you saw Mew, it had Stealth Rocks. I feel for this team and the format being a six on six, it gets a little bit more viability because you're gonna get those extra few switches in. We're all like the standard BGC four versus four, not too much. So, to get the poison off, to get toxic on the, the Arcanine, That is okay. We're gonna hit up a Reflect now. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna throw up the Reflect. We're gonna throw up the Flare Blitz. Uh, some of the changes I did, I did add the Reflect to the Aerodactyl. I really wanted it just to become a lead option. More support with the Protect, the Reflect, Stealth Rocks, and then just the Solo Rock Slide for Flinches. Kind of mix him, mix him up a little bit. Got a bouncy bubble coming in. Because of the burn, we be, are able to live. That monster flare blitz took out the Venusaur. And the reason I switched up this Arcanine is I found the Heat Wave Helping Hand Arcanine works really well if you're running spread moves that want the helping hand self-destruct heat wave but i just wanted some more damage so i decided to go switch to the flare blitz i'm going to hit the protect on the aerodactyl see if we can call a fake out and arcanine's gonna go down this turn so i'm gonna hit another flare blitz off Gets the Flare Blitz. That's so much damage. That's two for this new Arcanine. I'll trade it. Really want to show you guys the new guys, so I'll bring in the Polyrath. got the Pidgeot going to take the rocks damage going to throw up rock slide finally with the Aerodactyl and then this is the Polyrath it is running superpower helping hand protect and waterfall helping hand because it's slow but I'm gonna pop off a superpower Aerodactyl gets the rock slide does it connect it does Pidgeot's able to hold it in Really running the superpower just to deal with Snorlaxes. Aerodactyl 
Aerodactyl is faster. So I'm just gonna go for another rock slide here. And then I can actually switch out the Polyrath into, uh, actually I would switch it out into, yeah, Blastoise. Get rid of some of the stats off of it and uh, away we go. Going Mega, Mega X or Y. Nice to see a Mega Y. I think the next team I will be doing is a Mega Y team. Just because Mega Y just looks, it's my favorite Charizard form. Or, I guess, I feel like that's what Charizard should look like. So now Gyarados is in, eating damage to the rocks. Simple play, rock slide. And just to try to seal it up a little bit more, a fake out. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna to try to get another one in. All right, let's check out the team here. Bunch of legendaries, every legendary in the game. We got Moltres, we got Zapdos, we got Articuno, we got Mewtwo, we got Mew, and we got Dragonite. So, second bout of the day. Let's see how we do. Uh, I'm feeling good. I want us to lead the Aerodactyl again. Definitely need to get the rocks up with all those uh, flying types and that chip damage. And I'm actually going to lead the Beedrill. Here we go. I forgot to ask. I think it's going to be Mewtwo Mew lead. Let's see. It is a Mewtwo Mew lead. Again, made some tweaks to the team. Leave in the comments if you appreciated or would have changed something different. I wanted to keep kind of true to the same team. So just swapped out the Arcanine for Arcanine and a water type for a water type. Cause I didn't want it to go too crazy on the tweaks. We are gonna throw up a Stealth Rocks right off the bat. Um, Cause it'll be so much, it'll be so important for us later on. And I'm actually gonna U-turn onto the Mew. You turned on to the Mew, mainly not sure what Mewtwo it was gonna be, X or Y, and I'm actually worried about getting Stealth Rocks myself. So hits the U-turn, we're doing some good damage, great damage on that Mew. Going to bring in the Blastoise. Probably the one that can take the most from these guys. Straight Psychic. I'll take it. Got the rocks up. Your job here is done, sir. Mew with the bulk up. So, I am going to throw up a Rock Slide because I know Aerodactyl's faster. I want to hit the flinch on the Mewtwo Y because he's faster than the Mew. Sorry. Fish for a flinch. So, now Reflex up. Gonna do, I'm gonna use a Protect on the Aerodactyl, just in case to burn a turn if they decide to attack for it. And I am going to just straight up go for a Blizzard. Uh, Blizzard, because I want some damage on the Mew to Y, and Mew's got now a Reflect and a Bulk Up. Actually interesting to see the set, as we only saw Bulk Up, Reflect, probably Recover or Roost. Oh, Recover on the Mew. Two. Does Mew two Mew also transforms? Super cool. So 
So they got three more turns of reflect. I'm actually going to switch out. I'm going to switch into my Raichu. And I'm actually just going to go for a Scald. Now that Mew too is, uh, I'm sorry, Mew is Blastoise. Raichu's going to put some pressure on. Raichu avoids the Blizzard. Get a Scald. I'm going to fish for a burn here. Let's go, Blastoise. We'll take the critical hit. So now with Raichu, simple fake out. Because of the transform, I'm not worried about the uh, Mew doing too much damage because I got my water type and my electric type. So we're gonna go, we're gonna double target into the Mewtwo. That's okay. It'll come in on Stealth Rock's damage. Um, a lot of times when you see like a recover or like a, a sustain move, recover, soft boiled, you don't normally have a protect. All right. I really want this Mewtwo out of here. So I'm gonna double target again with a Thunderbolt and another Scald. Again, Reflect still up. One or two more turns. It goes for the Recover. And I still got Aerodactyl and a bunch of big mons that can take out this these flying types. That could do some good damage. To note, Blastoise is now the slowest and it does get a burn. That a girl. Okay, Reflect is now off the table. We are having to switch over, unfortunately, to attack this Articuno because it's dropping a giant sky attack. And in case the sky attack is on the Blastoise, I'm gonna Aqua Jet now. Does use recover. That's okay. If it's recovering, it's not attacking. Thunderbolt drops that Articuno. Dragonite. I'm gonna drop another Thunderbolt onto the Mewtwo here, and let's see if we can get a Blizzard off. Let's see if Bernadette gets. Let's see if Bernadette. Bernad, let's see if Bernadette gets VIP status today. Brought you dropping those bolts. Does. Goodbye, Dragonite. That burn's starting to really pay off now. Moltres, yeah, gonna eat so much damage. We're gonna keep Thunderbolt in this uh, Mewtwo. And I am gonna go for a... Uh, you know what? No, let's Scald. Let's see. Aqua Jet would have been the guaranteed damage. So Aqua Jet would have been the better play in this situation. Oh yeah. That's okay. 
Blastoise put in some major work this game. I am now going to be able to bring in Beedrill. And I'm going to just U-turn off the Mewtwo. And Thunderbolt the Moltres. The nice thing about Mega Beedrill, the only Pokemon that are faster than it is Alakazam, uh, Mega Alakazam, Mega Aerodactyl, and Electrode. Can't eat an Electrode move. Can't eat an Alakazam move. Cannot take an Aerodactyl. So it's always good to know. I'm gonna bring in the Polyrath. Let's get another uh, showcase of this big blue monster. A lot of damage. Another sky attack. Guess you're running all those, uh, yeah, Mew is definitely good. Yeah, went down. Stealth rocks. So Zapdos is more of the issue. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to throw a Thunderbolt at it. And I'm just going to go for a Protect. I feel good about Raichu taking a Sky Attack. It is a huge damage. But it's Electric versus Flying, so there is the Resist. Goes into the Protect. Love it. All right. Again, not worried about Moltres. So what we're actually gonna do is here, is I'm gonna throw up a Thunderbolt onto the Zapdos again, but I'm gonna put my hands up and give it a good old helping hand clap. I like how he just like, Polyrath just flexes. It's more of like, there's your support, bro. You know? Pops another sky attack. Not the best move, I find, in doubles. Or in general, any charge-up move. Because you can either just throw in, like, we could, if I had two protects, we could just protect this game. Also, uh... Raichu is faster. Go and do the protect again. Just a showcase. It's not worth it. And Raichu hits it. So, change some guys. Team's feeling a little bit easier and smoother to use. You guys let me know what you think about the changes. Love to hear from you. Thank you guys for watching. You have a great day.